the face of European badminton has been that of Spanish ace Carolina Marin the last few years. But while the double world champion spearheads her continent's challenge at the elite level, there are others hoping to bolster Europe's presence. France's Ronan Labar and Emily Lefeu are two of those. After a successful end to their 2015 campaign, the world number 25 mixed duo are keen to push on for a coveted place on badminton's biggest sporting stage. I think that the, the, from September to, to December, we had quite good results, actually, that make us uh, having a really good chance to qualify for Rio, uh, for the Olympics. We still have some regrets because we lost uh, three finals uh, in Guatemala, Scotland and uh, Welsh International. But uh, we also had uh, our first victory in Grand Prix in the Dutch Open together, so it's, yeah, it's uh, really good memories. Our cameras were in Paris, France recently to find out what makes the country's top mixed pair tick. Labar and Lefeu were hard at training at INSEP, the center of excellence for the country's elite athletes when they shared with us their early foray into badminton. I like uh, racket sports and my brother starts by uh, badminton and I want to do the same sport, so I start badminton like this. I played a lot of different sports when I was young, uh, tennis, rugby, uh, swimming, but uh, then maybe badminton was the one uh, I had the best results uh, straight when I start. I start to win like uh, some city tournament and uh, Ria tournament, so I just keep that way because I felt good winning. Both were soon competing at their respective local clubs before eventually impressing the national team selectors in 2012. Starting out with different partners and with mixed results, the coaches decided to try the Labar and Lefeu combo a year later, and they haven't looked back since. The Swiss International 2014 was their maiden title together, and they finished off that season with another top-of-the-podium finish in Italy. Last year was their most successful campaign yet. The French Connection bagged another two titles and finished runners-up on three occasions. Laval credits the constant communication between them as the key to their success. We have a good relationship, so we can speak together a lot and say what work what didn't work so it's a really important thing that you can really say what you mean to your partner so that's one of the best thing and uh, then yeah she's really aggressive at the net going to going to win the points to kill the, the shuttle so that's also really important for a mixed female player the appointment of Danish legend Peter Gader in May as performance director was also instrumental as the pair found some consistency. When they arrived, they put everybody, everybody back on track. Uh, so everybody was motivated again to push the other harder, to practice more, to, to be more focused in the practice. And that's something we needed, uh, especially because we knew that we were capable of, but we were not stable enough, as we said before, so having more focus uh, in the practice was uh, really important. Building on their Yonex Dutch Open win has proved difficult, though. The pair's outings on the World Super Series circuit have seen them bundled out in the first rounds. I think in Super Series it's very more difficult for us. I think um, every round is very difficult. Sometimes um, we have a good draw, but it's not enough. We, we need to play very good every time, every match. And with Rio Olympics on every shuttler's mind this year, Laval and Lefel's ambitions for the season ahead are no different. Uh, I think we will try to go more into Grand Prix Gold and uh, Super Series to try to reach uh, really good points. And we also have the European Championship in France as uh, the last competition. We played uh, very good last uh, month and uh, we need to be focused like this uh, for the next month also. And don't be regret uh, how matches or how tournaments because we try and 
If we can, we do it. As Europe continues to make big strides at the top of the sport, Ronan Labar and Emily Lefel will be amongst those aiding the cause.